This is going to be a brief instructional video on how to best balance a single pipe steam system. The first and most important thing to know is to make sure that this main valve is fully open or fully closed. This thing is closed and this is all the way open. If it's partially, you don't control the steam from that valve, although you only turn it on and off, it's important that that valve be fully open so that the water can drain back out. If the water, if the valve isn't open all the way, then you will get banging in the pipes as water runs back and runs into steam. The way that you control the heat from the valve, from the radiator, is by the air valve on the other end. And in this house, there are two types of air valves. One that has a dial on the bottom. This valve is actually mostly closed, and that's because this radiator is closest to the thermostat. So we don't want this radiator to get very warm uh, ahead of all the other radiators. And so we let this, we keep this one mostly closed, and so there's not much air coming out. And if there's not much air coming out, there's not much steam getting into the radiator, and that keeps this one relatively cool. So this is a Vera valve, uh, air valve, and the, this is the second kind of valve that's used in the house. As I said, there are a number of valves like this and then the Vara valves. And the way that the Vara valve is controlled, if we look at the top, you can see it says open here, close there, and on the side is a little ta metal tab, and you move it from, this is the closed position, pushing it towards the back is the open position. And that will be able to adjust the amount of air and steam going through the radiator. The heat, heating system in this house is a steam boiler, and it's controlled from this thermostat on the ground floor. The way to adjust the temperature is by pushing the buttons up or down like this and then pressing hold. Now the reason I'm setting it for 79 degrees right now is because this is a summertime when I'm shooting this video and the house is actually 76 degrees at the moment, but I'm doing it to demonstrate. If you're interested in programming the thermostat, I'm going to leave a copy of the owner's manual on how to program a seven day thermostat. A steam boiler has to heat up for about 30 minutes before there's enough pressure in the system to start pushing steam into the pipes. So when you turn on the thermostat, it will take about 30 minutes until the heat comes up. Uh, setting the thermostat to a much higher temperature does not make the thermostat, doesn't make the boiler run hotter or bring up the heat any faster. So it's best just to set the thermostat to the temperature that you need uh, and that you want for comfort. All right, at this point, the steam has come up enough that we can hear a little bit of whistling coming out of this air valve. Now we can hear the air coming out because right now the valve is fully open. So I'm going to close it and if the microphone is sensitive enough, you'll hear it stop there. See it just stopped and now that's closed. So, as I said, since this radiator is close to the thermostat, I would keep this one mostly closed, just letting a little bit out. And what you'll find when you touch the radiator is that the heat will have gotten, have come some way along this. So you don't want the entire radiator to have heated up because that'll make this room near the thermostat very hot. This is a pretty big radiator that can contain a lot of energy. So you're probably going to want it mostly closed and only have heat in the first few uh, columns. This is the radiator on the third floor and in this radiator the air valve needs to be all the way open to get the maximum amount of steam because the steam has to travel the furthest to reach this radiator and it's cooling off as it comes along. 
and has the longest way to travel from the boiler. So again, air valve wide open and always the shutoff valve, if you're using a radiator, needs to be fully open. 